Okay, and now it's my pleasure to introduce uh, MAS Vice Chairman and Chair of the Executive Committee and a great New York entrepreneur and a Q host, Fred Eisman. Good evening. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I'll be very brief. Um, I grew up in New York City, um, and I've started a business here. Uh, started a few, and um, what I wanted to say is that I just want to roll back, if you will. Uh, I was mugged for the first time when I was eight, and uh, I grew up in a very different city than the one we're in now. Um, I was. Uh, held up uh, at knife point the first time when I was nine. And, um, and I, I did not grow up in a bad neighborhood. Uh, and I was held up at gunpoint for the first time when I was 15. And one of the dynamics that is not appreciated about New York is the effect of the drop in crime. So uh, I tend to look at the murder rate, which was nine a day um, when I was uh, four, 15 years old and now is citywide less than one a day, and in Manhattan, vastly less. Um, so when I was growing up, there was a, a wall, a barrier, if you will, around the city, because no one wanted to live here. And that's when the population, I mean, the city was in financial trouble, there were a lot of issues with the city, but there were all, many, many people who just chose not to live here because they considered the city a dangerous place, and they lived elsewhere, and subsequently, as the crime situation resolved itself, uh, or it was resolved through policing methods and the advent of the PC and all sorts of other things like that, um, the city began to fill up. And so the populations moved from seven to above eight and a half million in the last 25 years, 30 years. During that period, one of the big negatives, which we've just been discussing, is the fact that New York has lost its to a large extent, a lot of its individual flavor. I grew up in a city that was unlike the rest of the United States. And now New York has opened itself up to the American monoculture. And you know, I, I, I love Dwayne Reed. I don't like Walgreens. I don't, you know, even though Walgreens owns Dwayne Reed, I keep, every time I see a Walgreens, I say, why can't they be smart enough to understand that nobody wants to go to a Walgreens, everybody wants to go to a Dwayne Reed, because that's us. You know, it's named after two of our streets. Um, and, um, one of, the, one of the ideas that we were kicking around recently, I think we're going to do an MAS, is we're going, to, we're going to show what, we're going to take some avenue, park, fifth, whatever, and we're going to take each of the big retailers and we're going to take all the street footage that they've taken up, whether it's JP Morgan or Toronto Dominion or Dwayne Reed or whatever, and, or CVS, and just see how many successive blocks they've taken up. But, and you see it in social life as well. My, my kids came home from school one day and said, it's homecoming. I said, what's that? And, uh, and, and it, another, you know, another, another non-New York practice that had come into to our lives. You are here, thank God, because you are interested in restoring the, the individuality of New York. You have a stake in the New Yorkness of New York. Um, we had a meeting at MAS where the, the, the gentleman who, who's in charge of the Times Square NGO came to discuss what was going on with Times Square. And one of the things I said to him is that it lost its edge. So um, I, I promise to be brief, and I, and I will, but, but one of the things that, that you can bring back to the city or, or augment, because the city is teetering a little bit, is its edge. And um, in whatever you do, all your individual pursuits, the city needs individuality. It's, it, doesn't, it should not be part of a mass culture. The more idiosyncratic it is, the better. Um, and so your efforts are, are hugely important to the future of the city. We value them enormously. Please keep it up. Please do more. And, and you're very, very important to the future of MAS because, um, because you're important to the, the future of the city of New York. Thank you very much. Bye.